Sharp Japanese version of the Zorus handheld is one of the first PDAs to adopt the Nancy codec. The Zorus is unique for another important reason, though. This PDA, my friends, runs on the Penguin. Yes, it is Linux powered. Brett Larson decided that was reason enough to take it out for a test drive. When it comes to PDA OS's, you've got two options primarily the Palm OS and Pocket PC. Sharp plans on changing that with their new PDA, the Zorus 5500. It runs on Linux. Zorus comes with a full suite of easy to use applications expected from a PDA. There's an address book, calendar, to do list, a text editor for basic memo functionality, an email client, and a web browser. Plus, Zorus wouldn't be complete without an image viewer and media player. At the heart of the Zaris is pretty much the same thing found in every other pocket PC device, an Intel StrongArm 206 megahertz processor chip and 64 megabytes of RAM. It's expandable with a compact flash on the top and an SD memory card on the side. There's two input options for the Sharp product. There's a pocket PC and palm version, which is using your stylus on the screen to enter characters manually, or flip down the cover and use the keyboard. It's a standard QWERTY keyboard, just like a typewriter. Well, I guess I'm too big for the slide, but the Sharp will also double as your MP3 player, since it does have a media player. I gotta get off this thing. Ugh. At least my favorite song's playing. Whew. Now, when it comes to holding MP3, since it takes Compact Flash Type 1 and 2, you can get an IBM microdrive in here, which means you can get up to a gigabyte of your favorite tunes inside. Sharp includes an IRDA port and a headset jack, though a microphone is an optional accessory that is required for voice recorder functionality, and there isn't a built-in speaker to hear your recordings without headphones. The Zorus has a 3.5-inch reflective TFT display with a resolution of 240 by 320 and can support over 65,000 colors. Even this pre-production unit has crisp images and vibrant colors. Here's what we like about the Sharp Zorus. Innovative keyboard design, nice display, expansion capability, and replaceable battery. On the downside, poor I.O. protector, no built-in microphone or speaker. The estimated price is $500, and it'll be available February of 2002. Brett Larson, Tech TV. Modern jetliners use state-of-the-art electronics to monitor fuel levels, airspeed, and position. But monitoring the safety of the airframe itself is a bit more challenging. We're going to show you how technology is helping to change that after this short break.